I want to talk about hours of power. If you guys see them in my workflow, this is something I got from my uh, something I got from my dad. I don't know if you guys are familiar with Mailchimp. Uh, Mailchimp is what I use to send out to my landscape contractors or people that are just on my email list. And so when I talk about a power block, right, I call them hours of power. I find for me, I have hours of power from like 7 a.m. or if I get up earlier, you know, like, like but by the time I get in the office, like 7 a.m. to like 11, like a three hour window. And then after 11, like ADD off the, off the chain, I can't sit there and focus. I don't know what it is. It's the heat, the sun, whatever it is. I cannot focus. I got to get in the truck. I got to go do something else. And I can come back to it when the sun starts to go down. But I can't. I just can't get stuff done in the office like after, after lunch. Know your power range. Know your power blocks. And whatever your power blocks are, just be consistent with it. Like I don't even attempt to schedule office work in the afternoon. Don't even attempt it. That's like I used to. I was like, oh, yeah, yeah, I'll get that done. I'll get a job done in the morning. I'll get my office stuff in the afternoon. Nope. I'll balance my checkbook in the afternoon. Nope. Like, oh, uh, the only thing I do in the afternoon, is if, it's, if it's like an office day, is like errands or like cleaning the trucks or like doing physical stuff. I just have to. So, and you guys know that. I want to talk about the super magic button here for a second because I am a huge fan of having an email list. I think all of your customers, past, present, and prospecting, people that have called you up, but you bid them, maybe you haven't bid them, but they're interested, but they're whatever. I didn't have an email list for years. I didn't have an email list until my dad was like, yo, so I legit just paid off the mortgage. I just did that. You guys all moved out of the house, just paid off my mortgage. I'm like, what's going on? You guys weren't making cheddar like that when I was like, kid. And he's like, oh, well, like, uh, yeah, my email list is huge. My email list is freaking massive, bro. It's like thousands and thousands of people. They sell real estate. It's a little tough to see here. But I've got 222, I have 220 people, these are landscape contractors in Sarasota, and what I do is I'm going to send them an email, I know I'm going to send them an email like once a month, um, and it's just our new, it's like some sort of useful information, you know, something about running your business, something like what we do on scopes, and then it's something about like here's our price list, or here's a special we're doing, or like whatever, or sometimes it's nothing, sometimes it's just straight value, and then people, you know, hit it up. Um, you know, they'll, they'll hit it up as in like, I'll be able to see when people click or when they open it. Let's say like, you know, they don't have any jobs this week, but like next week I get in on Monday morning, I pop up my MailChimp. I'm like, what's going on? Oh, there's like list activity. People are opening links. Like what's going on? I can click on the people that are opening links. Okay. These eight people open this one link. It's our price list. Well, guess who I'm going to cold call after my 11 o'clock power hour? You know, because like once, once I've got to like, you know, I'll do calls and stuff in the afternoon, you know, that's boom, that's my call list. Like out of the 220 people in this town that we potentially want to do business with, landscapers and, th you know, people that buy machine services, there's eight of them this morning opening up our new price list. So what's up, Trevor, Oakley Landscaping? Oh, hey, man, how you doing? Yeah, it's been a while. We haven't talked in a couple months. Yeah, well, landscape seasons is starting down here in Florida. Yeah, 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 cool. Hey, I got a question on your price list. No way. You're open up. No way. You got our price list this morning? Yeah, 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 great. Boom, right? Those will be my eight. Like, if I can only make eight calls today, it'll be the eight people that open this email list. If I can only make three calls, it'll be of the eight that open both links because they're just engaging. The point is, is having an email list, and I call it the red button. I'll show you why I call it the red button. Maybe I can, maybe can't. It says, you know, mail out to the entire list. These are my contractors, 220 of them. I don't do much supply, but we offer sod services. I don't know why we do. And I'll name the campaign, and then literally I will just hit the button, and it'll send out to the people. And it's, it's good. Every time I send one out, I'm always like, oh, here we go, here we go. Because you work a couple hours on this thing. You make sure there's no typos in it. You know, you make sure you write it in ADA, attention, interest, desire, action. You make sure you keep it short so people can view it on an iPhone because people are realistically not even going to look at your email. But anyway, I'm going to hit this red button. I'm going to send it. I got two lists. I have 36 people that we actually do business with every single month or every other month. It depends. A lot of our landscape customers uh, are machine customers, like people that use us for machine services. They tend to be one-man, two-man bands, and then maybe one or two mowing trucks, kind of that smaller thing. And, um, and, uh, and then like, we've got, 
you know, 220 people that open our emails occasionally, like, you know, we've never done business with it at all. These are literally just trucks I take pictures of. I go to their website, I get their email, I cold call them. I got a little script. If you guys have heard the script before, it goes ring, ring. And I'm like, hey man, saw your truck on the road, wanted to know, do you do just maintenance or do you also do landscape? And they're like, oh yeah, 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 man, we do, we do landscape. You know, thinking it's kind of a job. Yeah, I mean, we do landscape. Oh, what, what type of, what's your specialty? What do you do? Oh, well, you know, we do mulch, we do trees, we do this. Cool, man. Well, like, this is Travis, on-site supplies. Can I grab your email and send you a price list? And always they're like, yeah, yeah, man, sure. Well, sometimes they're let down because they think it's a customer. It depends on how well I play it. But I add them to the email list. Those are my 220 people. Those are my prospecting people I'm trying to prospect. And then I've got my 36. These are my actual customers. Know your power block. If you have a power block, sometimes you only have an hour of power, but it's better than an hour of nothing, you know, or three hours of procrastination. Here's a tip about procrastination. If you're younger than 18, you can close. It's all fun and games, but in the end, you're only fucking yourself. So find your hour of power. Find when you can freaking crush it. Whatever your power block is, whenever it is during the day, if it's after you eat, before you eat, after you go to the gym, before you go to the gym, whatever it is, and get in your hour of power, your power block, and freaking crush, and then start building yourselves a red button. Because right now I'm about to hit a red button. I'm going to communicate with like 250 people, and then I'm going to get in my truck. I'm going to see who opens links, and I'm going to make cold calls. And I guarantee, I guarantee, I'm going to sell three to five days of work probably by 1 p.m. today, just because of this red button. And I'm going to do it in about, I'm going to do it in about 45 minutes of work. That's leverage, baby. That's leverage.